Hey everyone, Zach Greenway here at Performance Sport and Spine, and today in this video we're going to go over some exercises that you can do to strengthen your knee and your hip that are non-weight bearing. So the first part, you'll just need a resistance band like this, a PT band. You're going to place it around your knees, and you're going to start with your feet shoulder width apart, and you just pull out eight to ten times, put your feet all the way together, pull out eight to ten times, and then wider than hip width and pull out eight to ten times. Right, the next exercise is just a side lying clamshell. So lay on your side, keep your feet stacked, and just lift one leg up and down. If this is a little bit too challenging, you can take the band off and just do it without the band. The next one is just straighten your leg and lift it up as high as you feel you can and down, progressing over time. You then you want to lay on your back and just keep one leg straight, lift all the way up, all the way down. The next part of this exercise video would be just isometric hip exercises. So bring your knee up to 90-90, place your hand against your knee, push your hand this way and your knee this way and just hold it for four to five seconds, switch and do the other side. The next one, you're going to cross one leg over the other. Again, pushing your hand down towards your feet and your knee up towards your head. And then you're going to pull your knee up towards your head and push your leg down towards your feet. And then switch. All right, the next one is you're going to just straighten one leg, keeping your pelvis or your hips flat. You're going to go down, come up and around, and then down and around and come up. Work on getting as big a circumference as possible without letting the opposite hip come off the table. All right, now you're going to roll over on your stomach and you're just going to do some prone leg lifts. So hold on to the bench or the floor and just lift one leg up, trying to make sure it's your glutes and your hips, not your back. And then bend your knee and push your hips up. And then lastly, Bend your knee and rotate your leg in as far as you can and out as far as you can. Again, trying to minimize any pelvis movement. Okay, the next part of the exercise is you'll need an ankle weight that you can get online or any sporting goods store. They come in all different pounds, so you can do two and a half, five, or ten. Start probably lighter and work your way up. You're going to put it around your ankle. You're going to lay back on your back. And you're just going to straighten your knee and back. Straighten your knee and back down. Then you're going to be here and you're just going to straighten your leg out as far as you can. And back. As far as you can. And back. And then lay on your stomach. And just bring it up. And down. Up. And down. Working the hamstring. And then lay on your side and come up and down, up and down. Okay, now you're going to take that band that you had, put it back on around the knees. And you're going to just do some glute bridges. Making sure to squeeze your butt and not feel it in your back. If you feel it in your back, you can bring your hips a little closer, push your knees out against the band, and keep your ribs down, which should help feel the glutes more than the back. The next one will be just to do one leg out, one leg in, making sure that when you're moving the right leg, the left leg isn't moving. Once you progress for that and you wanna make it a little more challenging, you can do a single leg glute bridge. We hope you found this content helpful. If you liked it, please feel free to subscribe or like the video below, as well as leave any comments or questions you may have.